What's new in Warframe this week? Well, the big one has to be the fact that in one day and 16 hours, Nightwave Volume 6 will end, about 1pm on the 3rd of September. You still, of course, have until then to complete this week's Elite Acts, which is Killer Capture and Eidolon Hydralist and Killer 100 Xmas, Normal Acts, Killer Tusk Thumper in the Plains of Eidolon, any of them. And while piloting a hijacked cruise ship, destroy three enemy fighters. They're actually pretty easy. All apart from... Hmm, the Hydralist is just time consuming. You still have until 3rd of September at 1pm ET to finish all of these to progress as far as you can through this to try and get to that fabled Umbra format if you haven't already going through this quickly because I've just gone through it and realised I spent about 5 minutes going through just this there is Nihal's Overleet there is also the key to enter it to get the Vitruka sword by taking on Nihal that is a really good weapon the Lens Solstice Skin Blueprint is here I do love the look of that alternate helmet wise Degaths is here which has a uh, story killing aspect to it. Corvexes is here, do love the look of that, but Dante's possibly looks even better. There is the Wolf Hood blueprint, really nice looking thing. Aura Wise, AMP Aura, Dead Eye for extra sniper rifle damage, and Infested Impedance, yes, there is only three. That will slow down enemies. Uh, not the button I wanted to press. You can see why I'm having to go back and re-record this part. Augment-wise, Bursting Mass for the Mutilus Quanta. Then Bursting Mass for the Mutilus Quanta. <laughs> there is Wild Frenzy. The secondary fire mode will fire at 400% fire rate until the magazine is empty. But if you kill two enemies, it will refund 100% of the ammo. For the Gracata, yes, the big shock here, the Gracata does in fact have a secondary fire mode. There is ammo efficiency for the Gracata. I'll prefer the other one to be fair. Atlas's Rumbler Augment, the Mailock's 200% multi-shot, minus 66% damage augment, and we don't ever mention that one. There is the Wolf Beacon to get the Wolf of Saturn 6 to summon into a mission to be able to get the parts for the... The Wolf Sledge melee weapon, you need to take him on. You can have many of these, you can only use one per mission to get him to spawn in. There is the Ceramic Dagger Blueprint, the actual melee weapon. There is the Pangolin Sword Blueprint, again, actual melee weapon. But I think I'll go for the Heat Dagger out of all three of these because it's just more fun to set the enemies on fire. There is the Saturn 6 ornament. I know it's hard to see because it's just this little thing at the bottom of the screen because I still haven't fixed this, but it's... Trust me, it's there. There is the Grohl's Thumper Floof, the Glassmaker Emblem. Emblems, of course, go on your shoulder. The Emissary Sigil. Sigils, of course, go on your chest. There is the Atarax Desert Camo Skin Blueprint and the Heck Desert Camo Skin Blueprint. Sadly, you only have... Well, obviously, there is the usual stuff at the top and other alternate helmets in there. They're just the three newest ones that I mentioned. Still love that one. You have until the 1pm on the 3rd of September to buy whatever you want in here because you need to use the Nora Mix Volume 6 creds before then, otherwise all you can do is sell them for credits. That includes spending it on anything. I think this time around I'm just going to spend them on Wolf Beacons. For the Archon hunt this week, it is Archon Amur, and it's a Crimson Archon shard. So a mobile defense mission, followed by a defense mission, lots of defending here. Then the showdown against Amur to get the Crimson Archon shard, which means Bird 3, it's really weird not to say Chipper still, but Bird 3 should be selling the Amber Archon shard. For Daviri's, Steel Path Daviri circuit for your choice of Incarn and Genesis devices. It's the Bow, Latron, Furus, Furax or the Strun. If you have all of these you can of course pick up a Rifle Riven mod, a Pistol Riven mod, a Melee Riven mod or 20,000 Kuva. Offer the normal one to get a hold of frame parts from normal Daviri circuit. It's a choice of Necros, Valkyrie or Oberon. That's kind of a hard choice. Necros is good for some things, Valkyrie is good for the rest, and Oberon's good for anything they aren't good for. 
Checking on Teshin's deal path on our store this week, it will in fact be the Rifle Riven mod. This, unlike the Zor ones that are also 75 <laughs> steel essence each, the Rifle one can actually be worth it because there is a lot of rifles and a lot of people crack these open so there's a lot of them out there but they never really sell for cheap. The Zor ones sell for very cheap platinum wise so that's why I keep saying Zor ones kind of worthless. Rifle ones still in my opinion a bit expensive but more worth it than the rest of them. For Necroloid's Deep Archimedia mission, remembering you have to do all three of these back to back, it will be alchemy where 10% of enemies are equipped with the impervious elemental barrier that you have to match the M4 to the corresponding element to be able to take the shield off them and allies within 4 meters of slain enemies gain plus 25% fire rate at a cost of 50% ammo efficiency, then you have to go straight into a mirror defense. Oh yes, mirror defense, where the security system requires twice as many glyphs to activate. That can be very annoying, especially at that high level mission, and enemy health will regen. It's slow, but it still does it. Then straight into the disruption mission, where uh, enemies can target and destroy conduits. And the rogues... They equip weapons that deal five times the damage to overgods and necromex. So it's going to be a kind of fun one this week because the mirror defense is going to be annoying with the glyphs and five times the damage to overgods and necromex. But still worth doing because obviously the tau forged are common drops. Uncommon to begin with. By the time you get level 15 they very quickly become a common drop so match all of the loadouts to the best that you can and obviously tick all of these as well and then easy tau forged archon shots and of course don't forget on tuesday september 3rd 1 p.m et Nora's Mix Volume 6 will be ending which still gives you all of monday to be able to do this week's tasks acts I don't know why they haven't changed it to tasks by now, to be fair, but... And then, starting at 2pm... Uh, it did say 2pm, that actually says 2.15, but down here it does in fact say 2pm ET. Volume 7 will be launching with the Lotus... The Lotus? The Stalker Sigil, the Stalker Operator Masks that do look pretty good. The Sp Stalker Spectres that they have corrected, it is now three, not one, three... That's better. Well, to be fair, probably said three to begin with. And you will only be able to get that once. So hopefully that's something that will be returning. The Stalker... Some Dali, which is the floaty thing above the head that we haven't been able to see any of these of, which is slightly painful, but at the same time not. Because at least we've seen the Stalker Operator and Drifter Mask pieces that will be coming in Volume 7, starting Tuesday, September 3rd, around 2pm. ET because they have technically shown these and they don't look too bad at all. It is the stalker symbol over the mouth. The rest of it's kind of weird but still nice. Will be coming this Tuesday. So you've still got all of Monday to do this week's night wave and spend those Nora's Mix Volume 6 creds because they'll be turned into credits and will become completely useless upon the end of this. All you can do is sell them for credits. So use them up just while you can. But with that, we'll leave this off. Yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.